Good morning guys. We're here for another day of fishing and this is time of the year that things start to get tough. Believe it or not, end of August going into September, we're in that fall transition. The, the night temps are starting to drop. You're starting to notice leaves change a little bit. The bait fish are pushing shallow. The bass are sort of scattering out. So this is a time of year that can be really tough to go out and consistently catch fish. So Jake and I, we're going up north. We're spending two days up on these lakes in northern Michigan trying to break them down, trying to figure out what makes these fish tick, where they're at, and to be honest, chase a true giant. We're putting ourselves where the true giants live but we want to catch one over five pounds. I don't think I've caught one over five since I will leave my Canada trip. So this is the opportunity to catch a true blue giant before they put on that fall feed bag. So that's the goal for the weekend. Go up north, share with you guys how to catch fall transition bass and catch one over five pounds. I believe Jake's here right now. We're gonna load up the truck, load up the boat, head up north, meet Ethan Karpinski, my man, US fisherman, go catch some bass. Let's do this thing. Nice to see you, bright and early. Ready to smash them or what? Yeah, I was just telling the camera, like five pounds or bust, right? Yep, that's the game plan. Let's do it. Okay, we have made it. Uh, two and a half hours later, we were up north in the Traverse City region. One of the coolest parts about being up in Traverse City is the amount of lakes that are up here. There's a bunch of smaller lakes that you can come up here, kind of sneak away to that all have really big fish. It's time to catch a big, big one, a wicked big one. Tell them about our trip earlier this year. I don't have any words other than we're going to redeem ourselves today. It's good. It's going to be a great day. You know, we're going to make the most of it and fish or no fish, you know, I mean, Jake's going to be drinking at 2 p.m. So <laughs> that's right. Fish or no fish. It's going to be fun, but no fish is not going to be very much fun. So let's catch them. Toss you guys on the chest and make this thing happen. Man, there's fish all along this break. Yeah. Oh, Jake says, hold on. Let me be the first <laughs> one. Good one. That's a good one. I'll give one there. That one. Jake and I did this to ourselves last week where we didn't get the net out. You want me to grab it? Where's that? No. It's more no. fun if we just yeah. <laughs> risk it. Jake's already got all his tackle on the back deck. <laughs> you got him wet? Yeah. Oh. He didn't even mean to bite. Hey, first oh, one, nice. buddy. Okay. Yeah, it's not much more. First fish, two, two and a half pounder. Good work, buddy. First fish of the trip. We gotta have it on. I watch this again and that happens. That is a good one. Doubled up. First A rig fish of the year. Not a big one, but. Not too shabby. Doubled up. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Thanks, fish. He hammered that thing. What I'm trying to target here is some deeper grass and about 10 foot of water. Um, this lake has a lot of sand. But one of the things you keep hearing us talk about is overall water clarity. It looks clean, but when you get off that break, you get into like six to eight foot of water, it starts to get to the point you can't see bottom, even though it is what I would consider super clear. So it's pretty interesting. I'm throwing a big five wire A rig. And I think these fish are very keyed in on bait fish. That's the second bite I had, their third bite I had on this thing. And it's to the point where they're blasting it. When they come up and get it, they really, really, really hit it hard. Big, big one. On the top on water? water? Oh my gosh, oh, dude. Dude, he destroyed <laughs> I heard him come out of the water oh, for shit. it. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, it's not deep either, so like. No, that's why I wanted to try it. That's a nice one, though. 
thought it was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> he completely flew out. Well, I heard him from up here. I heard him like come out of the water for I'm gonna grab your net. I don't wanna. Yeah. That's sweet. Good work, dude. Thanks. I'm gonna be curious. I think we give this lake till 12:30, and then we. Oh. I think much. <laughs> yeah, he ate it as soon as it started to come up towards me. He ate it. God, picking. Look at he ate the tail right off that bait. Ate it like right under the boat. the boat, like as it started to turn upwards. What I was going to say, if we're not catching them by about 12.30, I think we zoom. I don't know, man. I think we just got to keep throwing it around. Yeah. I don't think those are bass. Maybe they are. That's what they look like when I threw at them earlier and got bit almost instantly. Yeah, you're bit. Does he not have you? I was like, I know we're moving towards them, but I'm pretty sure your bait's not going down anymore. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes, yes, I am bit. <laughs> Shut the hook. Feels real good, but I could have hooked him funny. Is it better one? There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna swim. He ate the target. Kind of pattern plays true still. Wow, 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 wow. First lake was uh, not quite what we hoped for. We caught a decent number of fish, probably caught 10 to 15 fish, but they're all really small and we're looking for those big fish as I mentioned in the introduction. As much as I wanna say it feels like fall and there's leaf changing, it's uh, definitely still more of a summertime pattern. Fish are still deep. They're still very much so on that deeper bait fish. And so we spent a little bit of time looking for that, but just never really found a better caliber fish. Let's toss her back on the trailer, run down the road a little ways, see if we can't find some fish on this other lake. Let's go. Look how fat that fish is. That one was suspended. There was another one with him. But I mean, he's just super, super full of bait fish. I think he's just moving. Thanks, bud. I'm a little baller. Like, it's, hard, it's so hard for me to keep my balance on big water. Well, my center of balance is like two foot off the ground, so. There's a lot over there. Uh huh. It'd be nice if they just like stack along there. Which I think it might be the case. It's small though. Yeah. It's a thicker one. He wasn't coming on pin. There were a few of them out there. It's a better one, probably two and a half pounder. Still not what we're looking for, but <sighs> a bass. Thanks, bud. The main school is to our left. I'm just kind of keeping moving us down to try and see if we can't find a better school. Up to the depth. Man, 
he got a lot smaller as closer he gets to the boat. You don't want it though. No, yeah, I better just. Wah, wah, wah. Heavy. They're just chunky, they're fun. Just chunky, fun ones, yeah. Chunky gals. Just chunky gals hanging with their chunky gal friends. Where's your sugar daddy? Good one. I mean, he won. <laughs> he got big at the boat. <laughs> he he fought last in those little ones, though. Oh yeah, that's a four pounder every day of the week. Four or three. Nope. It's kind of fat though, maybe. maybe. Four point five zero. Take it. Four and a half pounder. Thanks. Good work, dude. Good job. Yeah, man. <laughs> Makes it worth it. Uh huh. Oh, that's awesome. Was he right under the sailboat? I wish, dude. He was literally. Probably where the boat is sitting right now. We've caught our best fish of the day, like the last little bit. Oh, I wasn't even recording. That's not even a joke. <laughs> it's a tagged fish, dude. That's crazy. Been here three times, or two times caught tagged fish. That's crazy. That's actually nuts. That's yeah, so cool. cool. Hey, my name is Ben Nowak. What's up, Nowakers? <laughs> We are going to wrap up today where I ended the day here in the driver's seat. I figured out a setup at the end of the day, inspiration from Mr. Adam Valley from Canada, where I can run my live scope on my console unit and then control the trolling motor with my little remote. And that's kind of how I wound out the day. We didn't catch the five pounder we were hoping for today, but we caught a lot of pretty quality fish, um, a four and a half. Probably another one about four pounds and then a bunch of three pounders. So it was a lot of fun. Tomorrow's, Tomorrow's another day. We we did it. We did it. We're we're getting there. One of these days we're gonna have we're gonna have a really good day. So but it was fun being out, as always. Beautiful day. Enjoy. It was fun. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out all the products linked down in the description below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Check out more videos. If you want to see another fishing video, click right here. Subscribe right here. And as always, take care of tight lines. God bless. Pursue your passion.